So for this essay, I decided to find someone to interview, um, and I found Amanda Foster on LinkedIn. She caught my eye because I saw that she was a director in the respiratory department at ECMC, so it just kind of showed me that um, you can always work your way up even um, once you get into the respiratory care because at some point I felt like you just become a respiratory therapist and that's it. Um, once we were on the phone, she has advised that she actually started her career at ECC North in the respiratory therapy program. Um, she found respiratory therapy by going to a job fair at ECC where she saw James Burrell advertising for this program and I let her know that he's still there and he's still managing the program and she thought that it was very nice to hear. Um, she told me that in her years she got to experience the NICU, the ICU, pulmonary function lab, um, sleep medicine for both adults and children. Um, she did say that it was um, a little bit more frightening to work in the children's sleep medicine because um, it was very difficult to convey information to the parents of the children. And since I have considered working in the NICU unit, when I graduated, I asked her about the experience specifically um, that she had in the NICU unit. She stated that it really takes a special person to work in it, although it was amazing for her to see babies go from ventilation to being discharged home. The bad just outweighed the good for her, and she could not mentally handle it. Um, so it was good to know, so I know um, what I'll be going into, and I guess I just have to make my own decision and see if that is something that I can mentally handle. Um, and after she got her degree at ECC, she actually um, continued her education after becoming a respiratory therapist and she went to New York Empire State College as well as Niagara University Grad School for her MBA. Um, now that she's a director, she is not in the clinical setting as much and has a lot more different responsibilities. Um, however, she does handle the education classes for critical care nursing staff. Um, she just oversees to ensure that they're properly trained and educated in critical care. Um, my favorite quote by Ms. Foster would probably be, take advantage of every opportunity you can to learn because so many of us just tend to stick to what we already know when we get the career that we've been working towards that we just kind of stay there and feel like we don't need to continue learning. Um, but that definitely encouraged me to always strive to be the best and just to always continue learning um, even if you have gotten to the position that you have been I'm hoping for because there's always other ways that you can advance.